and we are into the game, boys. I hope you guys are ready. Mm. Captain's draft. It is Holiday Cup. It is Logical versus Red, a.k.a. Itachi, a.k.a. Red. And a uh, very nice picture, very nice picture, very, very hot. Meanwhile, uh, Matthias, outrageous, and nefarious, cookie, uh, ardent sta statements, doesn't have a picture. Five Already not liking it, not liking it. So what do we see in the pool? We see a tree and protector. Tree and protector, very strong. We see a draw, we see a razor. Um, in terms of supports, uh, we don't really see too many out there. We see a centaur that is an offlaner. We see doom that is an offlaner. Um, what's gonna get banned out here? I would say uh, Doom. Uh, Treant. Lena. Lena might get banned. Um, Viper. Interesting. There's a first ban. Viper. Nobody wants to play against that hero. And there's the tree and ban. And what is it going to be next? There's a faceless void in the pool. There's Arc Warden. Ten seconds. And it is Logical's team with the last pick. Um, meanwhile, uh, Red's team has first pick. So they might want to look at something like Doom. And they ban out the OD. Um, what else is here? My Ten personal favorite remaining. Wraith King. Radiant team ban. Hmm. And there we have the Doom ban. Are they gonna ban out Centaur? remaining five seconds remaining uh who's gonna be playing off lane for red's team <coughs> dire team back nature's profit ban They ban out the Drow Ranger. So what are they gonna go here first? They could go for the Centaur. Centaur has been very stable. Razor. And we saw Colonel Squid already today. Diving enemy base. 10 minutes and killing enemy safe laner. Always fun. Always fun. Dire team pick. And they go with the Leshrac. Leshrac might be position 4, might be position 2, might be position 3, might be position 1. Um, very flexible hero, but uh, I could imagine it being a position 4. And we'll see what is Logical's team going to respond to this. So already Radiant has good tower push. They have Diabolic Edict that shreds through towers. Absolutely shreds. And they are gonna go with the bristle back. There's no keeper of light or IO here to combo it with, but still, it's a very strong hero. And they go with the ogre magi, so already they're very, very beefy. Um, as well as having a lot of physical damage from the bristle back. Meanwhile, radiant has the magical damage from the Leshrac. Uh, Bristleback uh, is most likely going to go be looking to Ten get a pipe uh, or at least a Hood of Defiance. Most likely a pipe. Five seconds remaining. Radiant and they are going to go with the Underlord. 
Okay, that's a very, very beefy offlaner. He's gonna build a Crimson Guard against Bristleback. Um... Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. It might be Underlord Leshrac offlane. Pit of Malice into a stun. That's uh, that's good damage together with the Underlord just hitting you. Uh, depending on what the safe lane Dyer is going to pick. Uh, there aren't too many tanky safe laners here. There's no Ursa. There's no Lifestealer. They're going to go with the Crystal Maiden. Very, very um, like bread and butter support. Also good has another root, so already all three of the heroes have at least a root or a disarm or something that stops the Bristleback from just marching forward. And they are gonna go for the Templar Assassin together with the Razor. Taking Templar and then taking the counter in form of the Razor away from Radiant. Um, now who are you going to send mid against the TA? Death Prophet? They need something to break through the refraction. Although they have Leshrac and Underlord that both have a lot of instances damage with Firestorm, um, Lightning Storm, and uh, Pulse Nova. And the Diabolic Edict, of course. Uh, so they shouldn't have too many problems with that. The question is can they survive through the burst of the Templar Assassin? Radiant team pick. And they are gonna Faceless go with the Void. Faceless Void. Hmm. Hmm. Faceless Void against Razor can be difficult, I feel like. If he gets the static link off before you chrono the Razor, you're like, okay, I either have to run away or be stupid. Five seconds remaining. And now what's gonna be the last pick here? Um, they need something mid. They could go for the Arc Warden, Zeus, Lena, Death Prophet. For the Ricky. <laughs> Dire team. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. <coughs> so is it gonna be a Leshrac mid and Bounty Hunter uh, support? I assume. And could also be Ten Bounty Hunter mid remaining. and Leshrac support. So I guess they keep that open. Five seconds remaining. And what is going to be the response for this? Dyer needs a support. Do they go for Zeus? Zeus uh, able to reveal Bounty Hunter at the moment's notice with his ult as well as Lightning Bolt and Nimbus uh, whenever he gets it. They could also go for the Lina. Lina with Bristleback. Doesn't seem too bad. They could go for the Spirit Breaker for some more global. Um, But then they would be grouping up a lot for the Faceless Void with having Bristleback being melee, Spirit Breaker be melee, Ogre Magi be melee, and Templar Assassin not be melee, but barely. And they are gonna go for the Lena! So it is gonna be the Lena Bristleback offlane. It is going to be mid Leshrac and position 4 Bounty Hunter. So it is Itoshi versus Logical. Leshrac versus TA. Who is gonna win? Is somebody gonna dumpster the other one? A 
and somebody doesn't want to pick their crystal maiden hero, um, Dove God, yeah, that's you. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. And we are ready to head into the game now after the strategy phase is over. Also, Lemon, disappointed you don't have the Arcana. Why do you even play Ogre Magi? Like, what's wrong with you? And we are heading into the game now. Oh, there we see Itachi, also known as Red versus Logicals TA. Oh, fuck. The previous match 11 0 4, 81 to 43 win loss ratio. That's when you know, Hupsy. And we are into the game now, boys. This is game one of this best of three. Are you guys ready? I gotta put some... Okay, all good. And we have on the side of Radiance team, it is Itachi on the Lash Rack. It is Seol on the Bounty Hunter. It is Doof God on the Crystal Maiden. It is Nier, good old Nier on the Faceless Void. And it is 127 on the Underlord. Meanwhile, on the Dire side, Logical team, we have Sick Boy on the Bristleback. We have Remedial on the Lina, we have Logical on the Templar Assassin, and we have Lemon on the Ogre Magi, and last but not least, it is Johnny on the Razor. They are swapping their lanes, and uh, Underlord already saw that. This he saw that there is a bristle back top. Seal, it's gonna get his mana stolen. He leveled up his passive. He is ready to steal some gold. He is ready to tax this Razor. There, taxed it. And uh, Razor is a bit in a pitle here. Taking a lot of damage. There's the Crystal Nova. <sighs> Stun not going to hit. But it will still give them first blood. First blood for Itachi. Logical saying to his team. Guys, I know I'm going to win mid lane. But uh, do you have to make it harder for me? And his team responding. Well... You wanted a you wanted a, a challenge, right? And they are gonna put a tri lane down on bottom with this bounty hunter. He's just gonna get some gold from this ogre magi. Taxation is theft, at least from bounty hunter. I'm getting so much gold here. Meanwhile, up top, it is a uh, 1 versus 2 Underlord. He has his Atrophy Aura, but nothing else. Bounty Hunter gets his, uh, gets his damage stolen, while in return, he steals your money, Razor. Mid seems to be... Oh, gets the last hit of the range creep. <coughs> and who's gonna get this range creep? Ooh, it is logical. So both mid lane is securing their range creep. But it is 5-3 for the Lash Rack versus the 2 and 1 from the Templar Assassin. And now Faces Void getting static linked. And saying, hey, hey, can we go on this razor? He's stupid. And uh, there's Bounty Hunters. He's like, give me your money. Thank you. And there's a bash from the faces and the body blocks. Is it gonna be enough damage? Four more seconds for another uh, Jinada hit, and he's not gonna go for it. But that's good damage, and he is forced to use his self. <laughs> Underlord has his firestorm now. Leshrak getting pretty low here. If he takes a few more Psy hits, he's gonna... Psy blade hits, he's going to die. He has to be careful. He has a fairy fire. <sighs> Not gonna get the, the deny on that range creep. Well played by Itachi there. There's body blocks onto this ogre, but ogre is a big thiefy boy. He's losing some more of his money. There's a plasma field to keep them all slow. And he wants to go for it with the invisibility. 
He has to. Uh, he's not going to go for it with uh, Jinada. Not fast enough on cooldown. Lina just trying to disrupt these shenanigans from the Underlord. And now it has the... Uh, how the tables turn have turned. It is now logical ahead. Razor, he is getting pretty low here. He's stealing the damage. There's the bash. First hit bash near making it happen. He has prayed to RNGs is more than enough. Meanwhile, Lina getting the kill on the Underlord. And it's just Ogre sitting in lane and the Crystal Maiden. This is what Immortal gameplay looks like. The position 5 and 4 in lane. Up top, Underlord is getting his levels, but so is this Bristleback. This Bristleback is having an absolutely free lane with the help of the Lina. Now, Bounty Hunter is rotating mid. Is he going to make a play here? It's just going to... Put down some wards. Up top, the creep wave is now very <laughs> favorable for the Underlord. And down bottom. Bounty Hunter is back in lane. They're going to try to make a move onto this Razor. Razor is getting slowed. And there's a stun on the Crystal Main to not get even more slows. But there's the Crystal and the Nova. Is, there gonna, is it going to be enough damage? There is another Chinada hit, but this time it will be on the Ogre. Crystal Maiden, has she overextended? And there is, uh, what is it called? Frostbite. They still see this Bounty Hunter thanks to the Sentry Ward. And now the 5 minute Bounty Runes. It is 3 Bounty Runes for the Dire and only 1 for Radiant. Stun on to the Templar Assassin. Templar Assassin is getting low. She has real refraction up, but it is a rotation from Delina in here. Is she going to hit the stun? No. Very close call there. If that stun would have hit, it would have been most likely been a kill. Down bottom. Let me see. Faceless Void just continuing to hit creeps, but he has the worst laning phase out of all the cores. Bounty Hunter just cause Steve some stealing the money from Raisin Art. Gonna have enough here to get a kill. Meanwhile, up top they get the kill on the Underlord with the help of the Lina and the Respect Mina. They still. Oh. See y'all diving under tower to get the kill on the Razor. It was most likely worth it. And in mid, I missed a kill. Templar Assassin kills the Leshrac. With no rotation. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Now, Itachi did put a sentry so he could deward all those uh, psionic traps, so such a kill wouldn't be happening again. Faces Void is getting in the midst between two people. He has time walk up and is going to use it to get over the trees, but they are now going to turn onto the Crystal Main. Crystal Main is dead. And that's a very creepy laugh by the Let 
Meanwhile, they're making a go on this Underlord. Nice to LSA, and Underlord is going to go down here. Bristleback has his level 6 now. Meanwhile, Faceless Void only level 5. You can run. You should run. And now we see Bounty Hunter is trying to make a rotation top. It might be able to kill this uh, Lina. Lina is uh, rather squishy. She just used her LSA. She is gonna lose some money. Meanwhile, in mid, I miss another kill in the mid lane. Again, with no rotation, these players kill each other. How the fuck? Up top, there was uh, no kill potential. Oh, a trusty Dying shuffle. Immediately used. And you got a healing self. Now there's a rotation down bottom with the Lash Rack. There's a haste rune. And they are going to find the kill on this uh, Racer. No problemo. Are they also going to go for this uh, Ogre? Itachi wants to go for it. He is diving the tower. There is the Split Earth. Is it going to be enough damage? It sure looks like it. Meanwhile, up top, they get the kill on the Lina. Now there is the Chronosphere being used. Good rotations all around from this Radiant Lamer. They get three kills all across the map. Chronosphere used. They get... A very high priority kill in form of the Bristleback. He did get the kill on the Underlord, but well worth it. 1700 gold swing. And Logical is gonna go for Desolator first, not Blink. And we are closing in on a 10 minute mark. Are they going to make another move on to this pistol bat? No, he's just going to lose some money. And he is going to run away. Now Underlord is down bottom against this racer. And now we are at the 10 minute mark. And in terms of bunch runes, it is a 2 for 1. A two for two exchange. But they are trying to go on this uh, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter is getting very low. He is going to die. Bristleback is just going to run him down. And outpost. Both teams got an outpost. There are three heroes down here. They're trying to make a move onto this Underlord, but this Underlord is pretty beefy. There's another Firestorm, and Razor is gonna get very low. It's, but he is not going to die. And Crystal Man trying to make a move here. There's the Crystal Nova. Is he gonna, gonna get him in range for a Frostbite? No. He's gonna turn around. Is he gonna get it off? He's gonna get the Frostbite off, and he gets the kill, but he gets killed before it, so he doesn't get any uh, experience. Meanwhile, mid. Um, And down bottom, Bounty Hunter is trying to make a move onto this. Lina here, she is getting tracked up. If they can find this kill, this would be a track kill very well. There's another track and the Pit of Malice on this Ogre. Do they have enough damage? There's another Firestorm up, but the Razor is here now. They're trying to turn this around on the Underlord. And Underlord, he has overextended. He is getting put on a leash like a dog. And this Razor is like, I hit my dog. And the dog gets killed. It's very sad. Meanwhile, they're trying to make a move on to this TA here. And there is a split earth and TA is dying. Well played. Nice rotation there by Lashrek and the Crystal Main. Invading the enemy jungle and getting the, the kill on the TA. Meanwhile, Bristleback, he is going for a Sunch next. He has a... He has a... He has a... He has a Vanguard. And they are trying to go on this Bristleback here. Bristleback is very tanky. Is he going to get anybody in return? No. Now, this, these are the rotations that they need to make. 
low MMR players. And this is what you need to be doing if you're losing a bit in your lanes. Just rotate. Rotate with your strong heroes when they have power spikes. Like, you can kill any hero at this stage of the game if you just bring enough mo numbers. Nobody's invincible. And logical, he is getting close to his desolator. Meanwhile, near, he is gonna go for a mask of madness. And uh, Leshrag is most likely gonna go for yep, Kaya and uh, Yule Scepter. And Underlord, he is gonna go for a four staff first. Four staff against the Razor. And there is a trusty shovel being found by the Razor. Thank you so much. And Ogre is going to use it. Does multicast work with trusty shovel? That would be pretty broken, to be honest. I'm trying to make a move onto the Underlord, and Underlord is dead. They had a stun for the TP, and uh, he bye bye. He's a goner. But now they have two heroes here they have the Crystal Maiden and the Bounty Hunter. In terms of levels, you see we are very even. They use the dust and they find the bounty hunter. Do they get in range for a stun? Bounty hunter is just running away. And we see in terms of net worth, we are getting very close to even. In terms of experience, it is dire favorite. And uh, Bristleback just took over this outpost again. He is gonna go for a Code of Defiance into Pipe. Meanwhile, they find the kill onto the Razor, but they, they cost them the Leshrac as well as the Crystal Maid. There's a Chronosphere onto two people. Do they get this TI? Yes, they do. And there's a Pit of Mouth to also get the Lina. And now they are going to clean up onto this Ogre as well. He's gonna try to TP out, but there's the stun. And he is gonna go down. Double kill for the Bounty Hunter. Nice turnaround. Four heroes dying. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Very good turnaround for the Radiant. But all of these fights are without this bristleback. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Bountiful. That's for me. Gold is a great conductor. Bounty hunter is gonna put the track on this razor and it's just gonna TP out. He's gonna use his shuffle. He's gonna find the TP or healing stuff. Trying to make a move onto his crystal main, but Faceless is going to stop that with the time uh, time dilation. Radiant are scanning. There is a smoke now by this slash rack together with the crystal main. They find, they find the bristle back, and do they have the stuns and the damage? It sure looks like it. But there is the rotation by the Lina, and they get the bristle back, but it costs them the lash rack. Still worth it though. In terms of net worth, two thousand ahead of the uh, lash rack. And uh, Bristleback died before the Lashrek, so Bristleback didn't get any experience. Underlord has his four staff now, meanwhile Razor is going to go for a Yule Scepter to stop TP. And Underlord is just going to put a Pit of Malice here, and there's a rotation from the Faceless Void. He, ha he doesn't have Chrono up for another half a minute. Bounty Hunter keeps on scouting out. These people, there is a desolator finish now on this TA. That's very scary. That's a lot of damage. Dyer are scanning. Dyer are scanning to try to find this uh, bounty hunter, but he's just outside of the Dyer's scan. There's a Vambrace recipe found, as well as a pupil's gift for the faceless void. Vambrace recipe was for Dyer. He all he has a desolator and a blink at 17 minutes. And did they see? 
And they just put down the sentry ward. They found the sentry that was uh, put down by the bounty hunter. He's gonna use his shovel. He's gonna find the bounty rune. I can't believe it is still a less than 1k lead. This game is neck and neck. And now they find the bounty hunter. Bounty hunter is gonna get slowed and he is going to die. He gets an observer ward but pays for it with his life. But that is what happens to you as a bounty hunter. Faceless Void, meanwhile, has finished the Yasha. He's gonna go for a Manta next Razor. Has a Yule Scepter. Do they wanna turn this around on this Razor? Crystal Maiden. It's gonna put the Crystal Nova there. There's a Yule Scepter onto the Crystal Maiden, and uh, she is going to go down. But Leshrac just arrived here and Leshrac has a Yulsep to keep himself alive. But there is a Chronosphere, but he is already dead. They are trying to turn this around. They get the Ogre and they get the Razor. And now Bristleback is surrounded by four people. Do they have enough damage? That's the question here. And now TA stands all alone. She blinks out. Can she get away from here? There is a Dust. And... Lina's courier has been going down. Nice dodge of the LSA. And they are not going to pursue any further of this. Uh, Leshrak dying there. Very unfortunate. But they still turned it around with the kill on the Razor, Ogre and the Bristleback. Bounty Hunter has his drums. Leshrak. He has a pupil's gift. He's gonna go for the Kaya into Bloodstone. There's also a four staff on this Crystal Maiden. Ah! Now this Bristleback, he has finished his pipe. Is gonna go for a Lotus Orb. Next Ogre Magi has an Urn of Shadows. They used the Yule Scepter onto this Faces Void. It's going to time walk away. Can they pursue him further? There's a four staff away. Are they gonna get the, the courier at least? No, there's a speed boost available. And they all get out. And Bounty Hunter is already behind the lines, putting out tracks. Radiance Both teams controlled an outpost for the 20 minute mark. But at least two Bounty Runs for Radiant, one for Dire. Or is it, they are gonna get the second one as well. So it is a two for two exchange. And. Uh, now this Templar Assassin, she's gonna go for a BKB next. She has Vampire Fangs, she has a Blink, she has a Desolator, she has a Vambrace. She's scary. Nier nearly finished his Manta style, only needs 200 gold more. Underlord is gonna go for the Crimson Guard next. Crystal Main is gonna go for a Glimmer Cape. Underlord might is gonna get pencered in here. There's a stun landing from the Lina and they find the Underlord. Lina has an Aether Lens. That range is pretty huge. As well as the level 10 uh, talent. Plus 100 cast range. In terms of levels VC, it is TA far ahead of everybody else. Both teams seem to be quite happy with farming up. They are trying to make a move onto this Razor. Razor is going to use his Yule Scepter. Bristleback is going to come in now. There is a finish Manta style on this Faceless Void. He is going to time walk away. Bounty Hunter is trying to put down a track. He's going to put down a second track as well as Chinada. And he lives in dangerous times. He finds the kill onto this racer here. And he is going to TP away. And do they have enough damage for this Bristleback? I don't think... So. Actually, with the Underlord here, there is a Chronosphere onto both people. And they are focusing on this Bristleback. Bristleback is dead and now Ogre is going to die as well. Such a beautiful Chronosphere by near.
there is a dark rift. <sighs> Creeps got killed right before the the glyph was used. Crystal main is going for a warding mission here. Now, Underlord is gonna get put on the leash, but has a force staff to get away from it. Now, Faceless Void is here. He has a Mask of Manus, he has a Manta style. Dual Scepter is being used, but he's gonna get stunned or rooted once more again. Nice stun there by the Lina. Do they have enough damage? Yes, they do. Faceless Void is going down, and Crystal Maiden will too. Very nice turnaround there. Ooh, and GG, well played is called. That's very unprofessional in all chat. Fake. <laughs> oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> uh, but very... <laughs> exactly, no way. Um, but very nice thunder by Lina. Lina also has finished the Yule Scepter. <laughs> they are... Get it good. Uh, invading the jungle. They find the Underlord and there is a stun. Stun is going to be too early. And that is gonna. M that is going to allow the Underlord to escape. And uh, they dust the bounty hunter. Is he gonna get away from here? Your scepter is up in one sec. Oh, stun onto the bounty hunter. Do they have enough damage here? He Laguna played Yule Scepter. Is there going to be any follow-up? He is going to get four staffed away. Now they are going to focus on the Leshrac. Leshrac has just finished up his Bloodstone. Is going to use it to heal up. And he is very healed up. They have faced his Void back in the fray. They are going to focus on this Ogre. Ogre is going to go down here. But now the TA is going to use her 10 second BKP. And is going to demolish the Leshrac as well as this Underlord. So much damage coming up, but now PKP has ended and they are diving into the, the base. Meanwhile, on the backline, Faces Void have made short work of all the backline heroes. There is a Melt Strike, but there is the Bash from Nier. Nier has prayed to Iron Jesus more than enough. And they find the kill on three people with this Nier in the backline. Is Bristleback gonna get away? And there's a track on him, so they do see him. And there's a time dilation and the pit of malice, and he is most likely gonna go down. No way to juke out of this one. There's the stun, there's the bash, and one more hit. And dominating four faceless void. Nine, one, and twelve. Doing very well so far. He's gonna go for a butterfly next. Already 3,000 gold um, towards it. Um, Excuse me. You missed something. Ogre. Ogre, go back. Ogre. Lemon. Lemon. Shh. 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 Lemon. 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 There's, there's a word here. Lemon. Le ah. Tell me something new other than a bounty hunter dying. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> What's most like, like a one shot or something we see? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. TA. Just TA things. TA has a dragon lens. Interesting pickup. She gonna go for a four staff into Hurricane Pack. And they still haven't dewarded this here. Then Razor is gonna go onto this Underlord, but there are others around. He has a blade mail. And they are just going to try to retreat Firestorm to put out some more damage, but it's all just to cover the retreat. Lena has an old orb of destruction and a greater fairy fire. In terms of neutrals on the dyers, uh, on the radiant side, it is a telescope and spider legs, and on the dyer side, it is orb of destruction and greater fairy fire. And they are fighting for this Roshan now. Roshan nearly dead. Who's gonna get the edges? It is the TA. And now they are gonna make short work of the Slashrock. Slashrock is going to use his heal scepter. Is he gonna get out of here? No, he will die. It's gonna be enough damage to kill the Unlord as well. Yes, it is. They lose both of their cores. Near not gonna be able to do anything about this, and now they are gonna going to look for more. 
TP away from the Crystal Maiden. And the TA has an Aegis, Orb of Destruction. And this is now the Power Spike. They are going to look to take all of these Tier, three, tier, uh, tier twos away from Radiant. They're trying to trade here. There is a cliff available, a counter cliff, of course. It's just Crystal Maiden here to defend. Crystal Maiden, only level 14. And this tier 3 is toast against the tier. Meanwhile, they find the kill on the Razor up top. But it cost them a tier 3 and the melee racks, it looks like. They don't want to buy back on this slash rack. He is back in 10 seconds and it cost him one lane of racks. And TA still has an Aegis. Are they going to find this Bounty Hunter? There was a dust being used. They find the Leshrak here. Leshrak has just come back to life. Don't do that to him. No. 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 That's so sad. So mean. Pit of Malas onto this Ogre. Ogre might just be the sacrificial end, but it's done onto the oh. Onto the faces void. They're dancing around. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And Leshrak has been set back a bit with those two deaths back to back now. It's now a 4k lead for Dyer and this this TA looks uh, very scary. It's gonna go for a Daedalus next as if damage uh, damage wasn't already high enough. She's like, mm, you know, one-shotting people is actually fun, but one-shotting them more is more fun. It's gonna find the Underlord here. Do they find the stun? No. They're gonna go for the outpost to get the bounty rune. And down bottom racer going to go for the Bounty Hunter, but the Bounty Hunter is invisible. And they put out another track. Up top, they're trying to make a move on this Underlord, but he has his Dark Rift. And this time, there is not enough damage in time. And, uh, it's... Damn! Bounty Hunter getting a lot of damage back to this uh, Razor. <coughs> <coughs> They're trying to turn this around now. Leshrak has come in now and the uh, Razor has overextended. And he is going to die for it. Well played with the bait from Seal. Dyer's courier has been killed. Now Faceless Void has finished his butterfly, is also gonna go for a satanic next. There's a rod of Atos on this Ogre Magi. And uh, there's a three-man chrono from near as well as the damage from the Underlord. Is it gonna be enough? They find the kill on the Ogre and the Lina. Now they wanna focus on the Templar Assassin. The Templar Assassin has used her BKP. Refraction is off cooldown. There's a slow from time dilation. She is gonna get slowed now. And do they have enough damage instances? Now, Bristleback is here. They're gonna turn their attention towards that briefy boy. And TA is going to blink into the back lines to go for the squishiest targets. But now they are focusing. <laughs> but the stun from the center is going to let Lurchko survive. It is gonna be enough. Maybe not. But that was. They are, there's now a Crystal Maiden ultimate buyback from the Ogre. He is dead as well as the TA. They lose the Crystal Maiden, but at what cost? And they are now focusing on this Razor. Razor's Void is going to time walk away. There's a Dark Rift from the Underlord. They are turning this around on this Underlord. And now Bounty Hunter has to run away. They were unable to kill this uh, Bristleback. There's an Invisibility now. Do they have a Dust? He can't. Uh, they have a Yule Scepter and he is just going to TP out. Do they have enough damage? No, they don't. Well played. And overall, who did that fight favor? Radiant. They got rid of the Aegis and they killed the TA again. And it forced out a buyback from the Ogre and he died again. 
very, very good fight there. Fnir with a beautiful Chronosphere, allowing the Underlord to hit on the Ogre as, he, as uh, he himself is focusing on the Lina, eliminating both supports with one ultimate. Now they are finally in the lead in terms of net worth, but in terms of experience, they are still behind. And we see that reflected in levels. We see... Actually... Not that much, actually. <laughs> I guess Lena is a bit higher. And then the counterpart of... Uh, of uh, Bounty Hunter. But those two play very uh, different roles, I feel like. Mm. Bounty Hunter is going for a Sanj and Yasha next, by the way. He has a Solar Crest, has drums. Every one of those heroes is so fucking farmed. There is a telescope on the crystal main. What is the range now? Track on this racer, and they are going to make a play onto this. And there is the stun blade mail is activated, and they have to. They bring in the Underlord here, and the Glimmer Cape for the Lashrek here. And now Underlord is here. There's the stun, and Chronosphere only on the uh, Lina, and it is enough to kill the Lina. There's now the BKP from the TATA. Has to run away now from the Faceless Void. Faceless Void is going to time walk away. They find the stun onto this Underlord, but do they have enough damage? Beautiful ultimate from the Crystal Maiden. L and near with the cleanup. What an ultimate from Doof God. They find now the Bristleback. Do they have enough damage? He is a beefy boy and his quill stacks are nothing to. So it is a 5 for 1 trade. What a fight. Doof God. Holy shit. That ultimate was perfect. Slowing down everybody, dealing so much damage. And um, I mean, also just near. The absolute fucking beast that he is. Oh, has a butterfly, has an orb of destruction, has a satanic, has a manta. This guy, he lifts. He lifts his team. He's a carry. Underlord, he has guardian griefs. And now they are focusing on buildings. They get the tier 2 up top. They also want to get this tier 2 in mid. And the TA still uh, doesn't have buyback. They don't know that, of course, because it's not on cooldown. But it is due to gold. But they get they, they get two more tier 2s. And suddenly it's a 10k lead for Radiant. And uh, this Razor, I feel like ever since the laning phase, his uh, impact has been a bit lacklustered. Now both are... Oh, there's a TP in from the Bristleback. Underlord is going to see this. He, is, he needs to go away. Bristleback is a scary boy. He's a scary beefy boy. Leshrac has the Spider Legs, has a Ghost Scepter. And the Bloodstone, only five Bloodstone charges. Those two deaths right after he got it really set him back. But a uh, good thing he has Nier on his team. Nier says, don't worry, Yuka. Don't worry, Yuritashi. I gotcha. I gotcha. Level 25 now for the Faceless Void. He goes for the backtrack. Oh. Pistolbag is here. Roshan is up now and they are scouting it out. And there's a smoke. Are they gonna go into Roshan? No, they're looking for a pick off here. Do they find this Bristleback? Bristleback is a very tanky target. There is a Rod of Atos. He is gonna man tie it off and he's going to focus on this Ogre. Ogre is going to die beyond godlike streak for a faceless void. But that's all they got. Is this going to be enough to let them take Roche? They're going to go straight into Roche and they have so much damage. With the Underlord, with the Lashrak, with the Solar Crest from the Bounty Hunter and of course with the Faceless Void himself being an absolute fucking beast. Ages for Faceless Void, cheese for the Crystal Main, aka Lashrak. There's a TP. Oh... He's gonna be alone here. Are they trying to try to make a move here? 
Oh, Lina is still here. Lina has an Agnum Scepter. Racer is here. Are there any TPs? There's a TP from the Faceless Void. And now you have to be careful. There's a stun. Oh, it's too early. And Faceless Void is going to go forward. He's going to use his Chronosphere. There's a Yule Scepter to stop him. And now the entire team from Radiant is here. Spider legs forward. That's a very scary side to build. There's a Split Earth. And they are going to find this Racer. He is going to run. He is a speedy boy. There's the f there's a, uh, there are so many slows, they, instead they are going to focus on the Ogre once again, Lemon falling down. But Johnny, he is still not out of out of trouble yet, there is a little LSA to stop him. Bristleback, wait, Bounty Hunter has a BKB, he really wants a MCL, that, that's not your base, boy, 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 that's not your base. And that's his 10 second BKB, Judge, there is a dark, whoa, that's a creep wave here. And they are all going to that. 15k lead now for the Radiant, but it sure does not feel like it. It all comes down to this, to this one or this one team fight. And how to how do you use your buybacks? Has anybody else hit level 25 yet? No, not quite. But Bristleback as well as TA are very close. TA with that melted bash. Ooh. She also has an MKB now rendering this butterfly, not useless, but uh, a little bit less effective. But of course he has backtrack. Does that work against MKB? I have no idea. If you know for sure, write it in chat so I get a little bit smarter. I like to get smarter. There's a DD on this face's void and the Yule Scepter static link on him as well. Hit of Malice is going to root. There's a Chronosphere onto two people and they are going to focus on this Razor. Razor is going to go down and TA is here. TA is going to try to focus on the Leshrac, but Leshrac has a Ghost Scepter. Now BKB is used by this TA for not great a whale. And now she has no BKB anymore. I don't know if you can still fight this. Laguna Blade has been used, but she's still available for the Leshrac. And Faces Void just doesn't die. TA trying to focus on anybody. And they still can't even get this faceless void. He is gonna get out of here. Now another ghost scepter used by the slasher. And they get this razor. Razor has did he buy back? I think so, maybe. I don't know. And the uh, buyback from the TA. And uh, they are gonna try to retreat now. This bristleback is a scary boy. B buyback from the ogre as well. There's the dark rift now. And the uh, Dark Rift actually getting cancelled. It was to lure them in. And now they're gonna try nice three heroes done by the Lena. And uh, Faceless Void, he's like, I'm not scared of you. He is going in. Time walking, nice sidestepping off the LSA. Can this guy do uh, absolutely uh, everything? Stop ripping my ears, 127, please. Multicast, Rod of Atos. There is BKB used by the TA. She has to run away with it. That's not how you want to be using your BKB. They're, they're going to try to focus on this Bristleback. And Bristleback is getting low. There's another bash. Do they find this kill here? Bristleback is very low. They don't find the kill. Now they are trying to focus on this Faces Void. Leshrac is going to go down. Faces Void still has his Aegis. He wants the racks. This Aegis is getting popped. They, they got the Leshrac. There's a buyback from the Lashrak. BKB used by the Bounty Hunter, but he is going to go down. Meanwhile, it was all a distraction just to get the racks, and they get the mid lane of racks at least. 22k lead. It was a buyback by the Lashrak. If they find this kill on the Itachi, that's going to be huge. There's a Yule Scepter on the, on the Lord and a stun. And do they have enough damage? TA is here, but she doesn't have BKB. She has to be careful how she engages. Faces Void is going to dispel the uh, Heaven's Halberd. And he still wants to fight this. He is strong. He has used his ages, but he's like, I can still fight this. Buyback from the Bounty Hunter as well. And now they are going to read it. It's a five on three situation. They see this TA. TA has a buyback in one second. She is going to blink away. But they are now focusing on this tier three. Bounty Hunter is making his way here. There is a cliff. Bristleback, he is beefy. He hasn't died in this fight yet. There, Bounty Hunter is here again and they get the melee racks. Bristleback trying to focus on absolutely everybody. He has an Octarine core. No, he doesn't. He just has, li has spell life steal from his level 25. Is oh. Also, TA has hit level 25. Yes, she has. 
for in fra for fraction instance, it's very interesting. Stun onto the faceless void, has faceless void overextended. No, he has a chronosphere. He wants the he wants the Lina. He wants the ogre. Lina Im immediate buyback. And uh, but ogre is dead for another minute. There's the dark rift away. They want to get everybody out of here, especially this faceless void. They get the. To get everybody out except the crystal main and you accept that death gladly you get two lanes of rags and so many buybacks used by dire we see it was the ta the ogre the lena meanwhile they did use the buyback on the last track so if itashi dies that um excuse me you have uh, left something thank you Bounty Hunter, uh, your trust to shuffle is uh, on off cooldown. Trust to shuffle off cooldown. He trust to shuffle! <sighs> oh, now he uses it. You see, you could have had that bounty rune so much earlier. And this Bounty Hunter is farmed AF. Um. And Doof God also has been playing very well. He has 5,000 gold. You should buy your BKB. You have earned that. Uh, there's an Abyssal Blade now on this Bristle Bag. That is going to help against this Faceless Void for lockdown. Now my enemies pay. So many new items coming out. Faceless Void has an Illusionist Cape. It's going to go for a Sil... Uh, Silver Edge next to uh, against the uh, this Bristleback invisibility for on the Underlord. Are they gonna try to make a move here? There's a pit of mass onto two heroes. Razor is gonna try to go in, but he is getting stunned. And now they are focusing with the with these uh, three faces void illusions onto if they can force anything out. This ogre. Oh, they forced out the Laguna Blade. With the illusion escape. There's a spell prism for the Leshrac. Is that what I think it is? It f is that good? Time is money. I think so. I mean it's it's pretty good. It would have been so good on fucking Bristleback. How are we on neutral items? So Dyer has found the timeless relic, the have a camera and the leveler. Oh, meanwhile, Radiant has found Spell Prism, Illusion Escape, and Minotaur Horn. Who has the Minotaur Horn? Minotaur Horn is in the hands of Leshrac. He's gonna go for an E Blade and Agnum Scepter. Agnum Scepter is Lightning Storm will hit one one. Uh, okay, interesting. Interesting Agnum Scepter. I don't really think I've seen it much. Just seems to be good damage. There is a Chronosphere onto this Bristle Pack, but the Yule Scepter to stop it. I don't think this is the target you want to be focused on, and now your Chronosphere is down. Bristle Pack is going to try to turn around. Dark Rift has been used by the Unload, and they're all just trying to get out. Yes, they do! Um, uh, Bounty Hunter didn't get the memo, and he is going to die. He couldn't get into the Uber. He was the drunk friend that you left behind. As you took your Uber, you said, you're on your own, buddy. He's like, what? I love you. And uh, they are saying, go down mid. They know this bounty hunter doesn't have buyback. That's 100 seconds without buyback. Can they defend this? They have a leveler. Where is the leveler? Where is the leveler? There's the leveler on the Lina. They are going to try straight for a throne. Oh, they are going to focus on this Bristleback with the Silverhead. And Bristleback is that he doesn't have buyback. This push has stopped right about now. Yule Scepter onto the TA. There's a BKB used by Itachi. Now a beautiful Crystal Maiden Ultimate onto three heroes. And they get the Ogre Magi as well as the Razor. Now they also want to get this TA as well as this Lina. Do they find this Lina? Oh, not quite. This TA. There is a slow. There is damage. Be careful. Oh, blink. Oh, no. It was a double tap. It was a double tap on himself. Instead of on the enemy, I believe. 
Ooh, that is going to haunt you in your dreams. Mm, regardless, it is Bristle back down for another 45 seconds. And that's Silver Edge. Bristleback was not expecting the Silver Edge. He was like, I'm tanky. I died in two seconds. I'm dead. I don't have buyback. Sorry, guys. Who else has hit level 25? Underlord. Plus, oh, Pit of Malice Root. Pretty good. And Lina has hit level 25. Not chosen anything yet. And there is a static link onto his Underlord, but they are just focusing this Razor down, and he is dead. There's Yulsep to keep him alive for one more second, but he is down for two minutes. There's a Chronosphere, absolutely nothing. All right, there is a three-man Rod of Atos, but it is a five versus two and a four versus uh, three. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but Bristleback is back alive. They are, they can't, there is a Silver Edge onto this Bristleback and they are going to focus this Bristleback down. Bristleback has been broken. Is he going to go down? Yes, he will. Bristleback doesn't have buyback. Now they will focus their attention towards this TA. They lost the Lashrack already. There's a Dark Rift being used. Do they really want to go out here? No, they can kill the TA. TA is dead. Two minutes without TA and this might just be game. They are now focusing on this Lina. Lina has an A on this, but it's not going to uh, save you for too long. There's a buyback on this Ogre Magi. Is this going to matter? I don't believe so. And triple kill for near, and now it is a buyback from the last track again, and it is a five on one situation. Faces void. He wants this kill. Ultra kill for near. No buybacks available for Dire, and this will be game. GG. Well played, called. What a game! And I'll see you guys in game number two. Holy shit!